Having said that, uh, we, I, I think I would just say, in addition to what the DDG say, a big thank you for coming. Uh, we appreciate your coming. Uh, we also recognize uh, the role of the TRRC in the current arrangement of things during this transition period. Uh, and therefore, uh, the role of the TRRC as far as our service is concerned, needs to be supported uh, fully uh, in the current arrangement of things. And uh, as far as we are concerned, this is one of the processes uh, that must arrive uh, and deliver uh, for the transition uh, to be marked as have delivered on its, on its mandate. So, and uh, the TRRC, of course, will be a turning. You know, it's 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 a moment of twenty pages, and uh, uh, we think we as a service, and even prior to this meeting, a year ago when we were doing our own assessment of the processes that uh, this country will go through, we certainly knew the TRRC was going to be an approach uh, that would be required uh, to see this country through where it was to where it's heading to. You know, it's generally going to be, as it is now, not going to be a, an easy period, generally, in the country, I mean, because of uh, unearthing, but also sowing uh, what has happened. Of course, this will, at times, border on sentiments, it will border on feelings, it will border on emotions, it will touch on very, very, very profound feelings, you know, in a very closely needed, needed country, and uh, we, 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 we've not lost sight of that in the, in the in the last one year of our national security assessment when we do our NIEs, what we call the national intelligence estimates. But coming back to the service, I mean, this certainly we also know <coughs> that uh, the intelligence service, in view of you know, its 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 its, its relation. Uh, with the public in the past. Uh, when we talk about truth and reconciliation and we are talking about probably uh, <coughs> things that might not have been done right in the past, of course, one institution that will be under the spotlight for that reason will be the intelligence service. Uh, and we are, quite, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are quite aware of that uh, as a service. <coughs> Yeah, we have not lost sight of, of that, that, that reality. Uh, and that's the past. But then the past is linked to the, to the, to the present. And uh, hence, since our, our, our coming into office, which is two months, two years this week, that uh, we assumed office as the new service, uh, we've been involved in very, very comprehensive reforms uh, of the service its restructuring and its repositioning uh, in the way we carry out our operations, uh, in the way we, we reposition ourselves, in the way we deal with the public, uh, in the way we relate with the public, in the way we also talk to ourselves. Uh, again, we think that must be the departure point for us to reform and restructure and reposition this, this service so that it is an intelligent service that operates within its core mandates of intelligence collection, analysis, dissemination, and providing advice where, where necessary to government 
and other necessary consumers to support our domestic and as well as our foreign policy engagements of this country. So that has been the focus of the, of the service. In the process also, we knew the service really has lost a lot of time in our assessment, really have the right infrastructure across the country, the right security posture, the right resources, the right training. And therefore, in these past two years, we've really been engaged in very robust, robust reforms to turn the institution around, uh, to bring it from the backwaters to the limelight, to make it an intelligent service worth its name and worth its mandate. And I think uh, two years on, uh, we've gained trajectory, uh, traction, and the, we, we, we think uh, the trajectory is good uh, for the service and for the country. We've certainly cut on all the exercises, if they, you know, if we've not only cut on them, we've cut them off uh, to the extent that, to the extent that our, if you want to use a social media hashtag, no more exercises has been our guiding mantra in this service. No more exercises. And if it is not for the work of intelligence, we don't get involved. So our, 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 we, 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 we've gained focus and uh, we, are, we, are, we are centering our activities on intelligence, national intelligence matters. Uh, anything that is out of that, we don't get, we don't get it. But that's been it, and, and the reforms have been from Banjul to Fatot. I mean, and we've had many public engagements, conscious of where we came from. Uh, and that's why we've gone open, gone public in many instances, engaged with communities across the country, engaged with stakeholders, uh, to, to give the new message of, of the new intelligence service, that it's going to be a public institution with a public face. Of course, we, we are also a secret service. We have to carry out covert, covert operations in the interest of national security. But otherwise, that's been the new SIS for the Gambian people. And once again, you are welcome with your, with your councils and your commissioners and uh, secretariat. We are pleased that you came. And as far as the service is concerned, we are full support because this is for, for the TRRC, because this is a constitutionally constituted uh, commission. And we as a service should support government, government institutions. And we will support you. We, 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 we avail ourselves uh, to the service of the TRRC for reasons of collaborating and consulting and communicating and support uh, where are necessary. Once again, thank you and uh, you, are, you are most welcome. Thank you again very much indeed, um, uh, Mr. Director General, uh, for receiving us on very short notice um, uh, to come and visit uh, the Intelligence Service Headquarters. You know we are here pursuant to a mandate given to the Commission by the National Assembly. The review period that uh, covers our mandate uh, does not cover the uh, issues that you just um, referred to. Uh, our mandate, um, our review period is uh, from July 1994 to January 2017. The establishment of um, uh, the state's intelligence services uh, falls slightly outside that mandate. We are here because uh, the previous intelligence um, uh, agency was mentioned several times in our hearings by witnesses. And uh, circumstances, issues, uh, events that took place at headquarters out here uh, have, have become very prominent in the testimonies being given by witnesses. We would need to come see those um, uh, areas, familiarize ourselves with it. Uh, as I said, even though the SIS falls outside our review period, there must be some continuity. Uh, there must be some individuals here who are aware of what had happened during our uh, review period. And uh, we would want to educate ourselves we would want to familiarize ourselves with those sort of things. We're not going to mince our words. There were atrocities that were carried out here. Brutalities from what the witnesses were saying. That, where it happened, what had gone through, 
are the things that we just need to um, uh, know. We need to familiarize ourselves with, as I said earlier, and to see what happens. Thanks. Thank you so much for the briefing. And uh, as we um, uh, start that one, we would hear a bit more about it. But uh, thank you again for receiving us on very short notice. And uh, we would, um, uh, when we finish the briefing, want to visit those areas, the facilities that were used to torture and brutalize people. Thank you very much indeed. As I said, and this has been on for, for a period now, but we've also been keeping records of how it was and how it is now and how other, other facilities remain intact. Uh, so how it was, how it is now, how was a particular house or building and how it was then and how it is now. But again, for us, this is done with a view to rehabilitate the facility. Like this facility we are now sitting on in was not like this a year ago. And you will see that in most of the facility uh, around the complex that we are, we are, we are rehabilitating, uh, there is an ongoing rehabilitation of our, of our headquarters again uh, to, to take it from where we found it and when the opportunity arose for us to rehabilitate and refurbish the buildings uh, we did again to the extent possible maintaining the originality uh, of the of, of the complex um, can you tell us briefly uh, both of some uh, administratively and uh, physically happened between NIA and SIS when you came in yeah, you must have gone through a certain transition period to close them, or perhaps uh, the previous phase of that. If you can just help us with that. When we came uh, as, as a new administration, uh, we, we did find that the working environment for personnel to operate in a fitting, intelligent setup as and, uh, regarding resources and logistics was really down was really weak. The offices were not fit for purpose, generally. Uh, we find uh, that there was a room to improve, and improve much. Most of the buildings we found here are buildings that are the old GPMB buildings. And this is where the officers were. But then, when we came, uh, we went into a resource mobilization mode to reform and restructure and operationalize the service. So it, when we took over even the vehicles that were available for operational purposes were not adequate. So we started to bring back to the roads our existing fleet that was in the garage. Following which we, we, we now have had the operational capability improve to an acceptable level. Was this just a period when we came out of another government and a new government? And certainly the challenges of the previous government were quite enormous. And the intelligence service couldn't wait to say we didn't have resources. So we cannot we cannot we cannot operate. So we went into that mode, repaired vehicles, then we went into a study for the scoping of what are the intelligence needs of the service. The resources vis-a-vis -vis operational mobility, vehicles, motorcycles, environment, etc. And then we realized they were all inadequate. So we sat and uh, we sat to prepare uh, Mr. Chair proposals to raise resources for this country. Uh, then we also saw friends coming back to say we want to help you with your, with your reforms and restructuring of the, of the service. So we wrote proposals. We studied and gave a justification. We also took graphics photos of how the service was. As some of the photos will show you, we, we've got some of the photos of the buildings we really inherited and how those buildings in these last two years we've been able to change them. Then on the service we know this is about reforms and restructuring of the service and repositioning of the service. 
So as I said, the operational, we change the operations. No more exercise was an operational guideline for all officers of the service. We went into training on human rights issues because we knew from what we inherited, human rights was at the center of the challenges we inherited. So consciously, we went into efforts to enlighten our officers, to sensitize them about the need to operate according to the dictates of democratic, democratic environment. So we, we went into really very robust fundraisings for the service to restructure, to build new, to new accommodation. There are places that our operators were up country. They are not, they are not accommodated. They are not, we were co-located with other services. So all these things dawn on us that if the service, which is one of the most important institutions in government and intelligence service, should be in the center of helping government. But we must have the competence, we must have the capabilities, we must have the resources, we must have to the extent possible the capacity to respond and respond on time. And if we don't have our resources at our disposal to the extent possible, then our national security mandate would be lacking. So we are, we are, we are quite conscious of this, Mr. Chair. And then we built the institutions. We built, we went into institutional strengthening of the service. We decided, we, we, we started to bring in research as a fundamental aspect of what we do as an intelligence service. We, 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 we had a directorate of orientation, of, of, of reforms in the, in, the, in the new service. We introduced directorates of operational assurances so that we are assured that before we go into an operation, it is all and, and it's also within Monday. We went and reached out because we also knew part of the difficulty the service had when we took over was acceptability. So we had this deliberate effort to reach out, to reach out to everyone across this country. Again, so that the new SIS, that is the SIS of the people that has cut off its exercise, that message is also communicated. So we engage everybody, religious homes, security institutions, government institutions, home and abroad. And I think two years on, we've turned it, turned it off. The, the key component in our mandate is uh, to create a historical record of um, uh, human rights violations and abuses that occurred during the review period that I referred to. Uh, before I get to the council on uh, those records, uh, maybe you would want to say something about those, um, how records were um, uh, uh, kept here and uh, the preservation of those records is a key element and that's what I would want Council to just um, uh, brief you on. Our desire that, uh, and our request um, uh, to you to preserve those records that uh, we would need to fulfill our mandate. If you're familiar with the uh, Act itself, that establishment or creating that public record, that historical record, is designed to promote reconciliation and healing. Uh, we'll see what it is. But preservation of records <coughs> that um, you inherited from the NIA is absolutely central to what we are doing. We would hear a bit more from you on that. And uh, as I said, um, uh, as pointed, uh, our lead council would um, tell you uh, what, what we sent you, what we ask you to preserve um, uh, for us to use later on. But I would want to know if our commissioners have any questions to ask. If not, we will get to the lead council for that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, and uh, thank you, Director General, for, for receiving us. Uh, my name is S. Afal. I, I am the lead council. Um, you, you have hit the nail on the head. The NIA is obviously an institution of interest to any investigations of human rights violations in the Gambia that occurred during the period of the NIA. Uh, and uh, because it is so obvious that uh, this would be the subject of inquiry, it behoves all responsible officials to ensure that 
such investigations would not be interfered with. And what would that interference mean? <coughs> it would mean taking steps to conceal or destroy evidence, taking steps to make sure that the evidence that would be needed to prove rights violations or abuses that occurred in the past uh, are not achieved. Um, uh, we do not come here with any preconceived ideas as to what may or may not have happened. We are here to hear from you and to see for ourselves what exists today. Hopefully, some of the things of interest to us would remain intact and unchanged. But if they are changed, it will be difficult for one to assess what they were previously. And knowing the obvious of what was going to happen, to have gone forward and changed the nature of those things would amount to some questionable activity. But nonetheless, uh, we would not pre pre prejudge anything. Uh, we understand there's been a lot of restructuring and reform. The reforms are laudable, in fact. You don't have to wait for any institution to come and say these were the ills of the past, change them to something good. Uh, I mean, what you did to reform the culture and nature of the organization is laudable. But nonetheless, uh, the fact that it is obvious that uh, the instruments and the tools and the facilities that were used for rights violations in the past would be preserved for future investigations like this particular investigation. So we look forward to seeing uh, what was there. Uh, obviously, the Commission would be in a position to draw conclusions uh, from the actions of today in order to know what happened in the past. If certain things disappear suddenly, obviously it will call to question why. And we are certain that you would be in a position to answer. Whether we will get the answers or not is another question. So we came here prepared with two important documents. One is a cease and desist letter to request uh, Your Excellency, to stop transforming certain facilities of interest to the TRRC. If there is no transformation, don't do any transformation. If there is some transformation going on, stop that transformation until our inquiry is over. Well, if those facilities have been completely transformed already, we would be interested in knowing what it looked like before. And it looks like you are very prepared. Uh, so we would see what you have. We would study them and we will get back to you. In the meantime, we had previously requested certain documents from the institution. A good part of those, of what we requested is still missing. Uh, we are still waiting to receive them. We've been made to understand at some stage that some of those documents are with the police. We have received some, we are yet to receive others. Uh, so uh, the person in charge of liaising with you on those particular issues is not present at the moment. So, But we do hope that uh, uh, the line of communication we have with you would continue to be open and that what's been requested would be provided to us. We would definitely come back and make more requests uh, for materials. Uh, I think one important thing is to ingrain in your new culture the decision and the desire and the commitment to help the TRRC in its work. Uh, because also there may be an interest in some quarters to protect and to conceal, and both of which would be offences under the laws of the Gambia and under the laws of the TRRC. Uh, so we do hope that uh, the, this cooperation that has just started 
would continue. Uh, if the chairman permits, I would just give you the documents that we came with. Uh, there is also a request to search. We certainly believe that that is not necessary because it appears you are consenting and facilitating and assisting. So that would not be necessary. But we had to be prepared and come with all the necessary legal documents just to make sure that we cover all the bases. Not that we have any doubts, but this is just to be prepared and to cover all the bases. So uh, with the chairman's permission, please continue. I provide you with uh, these documents. And uh, this is the cease and desist letter. Okay. And uh, this is the visit inspection and search warrant as it is. So, uh, like I said, the second one is not really necessary in view of the cooperation uh, that, uh, that we are receiving from you. And thank you very much. I just wanted to recognize, uh, recognize uh, what he said. I will re-emphasize our, our, our availability. I mean, the TRRC is for us, really. In as much as it's a process in the bigger dispensation, it's also of national security interest. So we need to support the process. We need to support the commission itself. Uh, for us, it's more than more than just a process. For us, it has national security angles, which we would we would we would, we would be ready to share, share our views, our our, our, our observations uh, on the process and. If, 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 if avail the opportunity, you know, profile advices where are necessary just to help it deliver in the end, to help it arrive in the end. That one is readily available, uh, Mr. Chair. And that, that, that understanding is also among all of us as senior, senior directors, really. This is a process, you know. We, we have to help the Gambia go through its transition as a service. That's one of our jobs. To make sure the Gambia is peaceful, is stable, and is secured. So anything that will put trepidation on the, on, on, on the process is our, is our concern and it's in our interest to help uh, uh, prevent that we are managing. So, I mean, Mr. Council, uh, we, we, we are with you soldier to soldier. I mean, if that's something we can, we can say, we are with you soldier to soldier. Nothing has been demolished. Have been rehabilitated, yes. Some spaces have been maximized in our you know in, in view of the office space. Maybe the room was too big and we've cut it into two. For instance, you will see those things. But things like Bombardinga is preserved, intact, as we found it. The cell, which is one of the other cells in the service. Is preserved intact as we found it. So, if there are two key things that we've preserved are uh, Bambadinka and the, 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 the cell which was attached to the investigation department or the, the investigation building. And what, as I said, if we go into the into the complex, uh, we'll be able to to to, to 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 see for ourselves what happened. Again, just to. To, 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 to further say, as we said, we will provide what we found and how it is and the processes we've got you, which we will share with you, Mr. Chair. You can look at it uh, and see. Again, I, I know part of the information is that, again, probably some is witnesses, but there's also a lot of public about how the SIS or the NIA was. Again, without holding brief, because we'll, I don't want to preempt anything. But we think because of it being an intelligence and secret service, and there are, there are so many probably unknown things, and there are a lot of speculations about how it is. Maybe now if we go around, uh, without holding brief, again, we understand uh, the, 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 the psychological situation people go through because they don't know what happens inside. Chairman, uh, 
permission, I just want to ask the Director General uh, of the SIS uh, that uh, the previous organization which you inherited uh, has been accused in several times during uh, hearings to have possessed instruments of torture such as electrocution equipment and things like that. Uh, I have seen in your uh, in your in your pictures uh, old equipment such as motorcycles being replaced by new motorcycles. May I just ask whether those so-called torture implements have also been preserved? Have they been kept uh, for future investigations like ours? Uh, I notice uh, you have done the honourable by keeping the Banga Bambadinka intact as it was where, uh, how you found it when you came in. I suppose that same spirit of wanting uh, history to document uh, how things were in this particular institution would also dictate that, do, that uh, those implements be kept at least somewhere for this inquiry to be able to examine and to present to witnesses so that they can confirm whether this is what it was or not. So could you kindly address that issue? Thank you. As at, as, as at the time of uh, taking over, uh, we didn't take over or collect or such an instrument, really. Uh, uh, if it also exists, I didn't. I didn't have any any record of it. But we can find out. Uh, if you allow us, we will. We will. We will search for if it's around uh, and see what's uh, what's uh, in stock. I know our old materials. Again, part of the old invest building, the store. We moved everything, and the records are there. How what we found, and we've moved it into a new 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 place so we will we will we'll look whether we'll see such an instrument uh, among 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 the collection uh, could you also provide us copies of those records uh, yes as so the, the assortment what, what was found in that store, uh, in that store. yes uh, yes uh, and how soon can we take before the end of business or latest monday <laughs> certainly inshallah we will we will provide Th thank thank you thank you This is the entrance, Mr. Right, Chair and right. Mr. Council. This, this, is, this was the guard room until a uh, few weeks ago, and this is the way it looked like. So we've not demolished it. We've just taken off the previous roof mm -hmm. and extended it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the guard room. As can be seen. When people come to visit, they, right. would, they would come from here, and this okay. was a, a kind of a reception. Uh -huh. There is a wait, waiting chairs to wait. Right, right. And there was a security desk here to check the details of the visitor. Is when people it? come to visit, ah, okay, so no. this is the guard room. Okay. It was our front guard room where visitors would come. Uh -huh. When people come to see the service, this is where they were received. So this was the front security guard room. Okay. This particular room was the reception. Yeah, this was the reception. This was the reception. Why do you wait to be received in there? Yeah. And this is the famous Bambadinka building. Uh -huh. This was the one that housed the Bambadinka shell. Okay. But it used to, it, it, 
it had offices as well, oh, okay. you know, administrative offices. Mm -hmm. uh, as you would see, this is the way it was. Mm -hmm. This is the way it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see there might have been additions and raising of, mm -hmm. of, the, of the structure mm -hmm. for that to give it this roof. Mm -hmm. But this was, this was, it still remains the same dimension. Okay. And you can see the famous Bambadinka cell in here, mm -hmm. as it was. Mm -hmm. So you could even sit here and see Bambadinka's, Bambadinka's view from here. Is it one or two? Well, we have only, to the extent we know, we have only one cell called Bambadinka. Okay. As far as uh, we know. No, they t in the testimonies they were saying uh, Bambadinka, one, two, two, and two. three. So well, that's why we have know, only I ask whether this is one or two. You know. Yeah. So this is the way it looked from this, this old building. No. Look like. No. Uh, but Mr. Director General. Yes, sir. Was there an underground cell? No. Uh, was there a cell uh, which you have to take steps to get there? To get there. Cell steps to get there? Yeah. Ah. Staircase. No, well, we know the old building had staircase. It had staircases. Down ground? No, there is no underground. As oh. far as we know, really, there is nothing you must take steps to go down in, to, into, a, into a cell here. But can you, would you be within a building and you have steps to go down into what would be a cell, even though it is not underground? Mm, a cell? No. 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 The only cells, as I said, we know, are aware of in this service, is the Bambadinka cell and the other cell will show you. Nothing has to be here. Uh, yeah. Remember. As you can see, that's the ground floor. Yeah. Those are the windows. Right, right. It's just now that they are sliding windows. Right, right. But they remain one, two, three, four windows. Right. As we found it, you can see. And this is the one that is not being tried at all. Yeah, no, it's not being tried. This is where we found it. Yeah. Can I you make it one from the This is what we found of the bumper. Where is this? Oh, that's the door. That's sorry. the door. That's the door, sorry. Yeah, I didn't that, see. That's the door. You yeah, can see I it. I get it. I get it now. You can see yeah. it. Was there. Yeah, it was here. Yes, yes, you can see yeah, it yeah, was yeah. here. Yes, Lord. Okay. It was here. So this is the Bambadinka cell. You can also see that one. That's the window from inside. When you took over, could you tell us what the state of the floor was based on testimonies? We heard there was um, glass and broken objects on the floor. So what state did you find it in? Uh, we didn't find any, any anything. I think uh, to the extent that uh, there were there were even some some uh, no do documents, some papers. I think I, ca I, ca I cannot say we found any glass or bottle or any broken to what I had. So again, Bombadinka from some of the testimonies from 1994 to, to, to now might have provided what he's saying the floor was and how we found it. We didn't find any glass, really. This is the way we found Bombardier. But has the floor been touched upon? No. Has it been walked on? No, not touched upon. I know we, we, we kept, we, we, we brought in some, some storage here. Mm -hmm. And yesterday when we received that uh, the commission was coming, we took those boxes out. Well, there we are. Old news. Bojang, what we are in them? Bojang, come on. Bojang. Bojang. Old documents. 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 Old documents.
Yes, Mr. Please Commissioner. You said we didn't find nails here and bottles, but do you know of any, do you have any information that the previous administration tried to change things here or? Oh, no, really, no, no. Uh, at, at when did you start working on this particular building? This one, the, the, this one is about, uh, about, must be about three months ago. Because what happened? Okay. After the commission has been established. Yes, I think after the commission has been established. And the interest of the commission, the interest that the commission would have on this premises was therefore obvious as at the time. Uh, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't think it in that light. But in your that speech, you said it was obvious that. The commission so would be of an interest in the service. Yes, in the service. And naturally, the main focus would be Bambadinka, obviously. Yeah, yes. So that's why we didn't also touch Bambadinka. As you can see, we've, we've, we've no. I am talking about this one. This is also Bambadinka. No, this is not Bambadinka. This is a stairs. We'll see the stairs. It's not Bambadinka. Is just a walking from there. You come here. Come here. Yes, sir. And this is the only one cell. There is another cell at the old investigation building. But the cell that is called Bombardier. This is the only one. Yes. Of what we are going through right now, and the fact that the current DG and his staff have uh, made to preserve this structure as it is. But uh, even though I'm not an expert in building. If you look at the walls and the ceiling and look at the floor, you will know that this floor has been resurfaced. Yes, it's different in time. The, yeah. There is difference in time. I know that they have preserved it as they found it. Yes. So I'm not pointing fingers at them, but somebody must have moved very fast. Certain quickly before, to, before, before they, they came, came in. in. Yes. Because if you look at the writing on the wall yeah, and everything the else, is very but look at the, the floor is new. Yeah, yeah. 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 The floor, the floor tells you where I've been showing you. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. When, when you when you take over, uh, we are we are in a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really so, but it is correct to call it a torture chamber. Well, I did was ah uh, well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know what that means, but I know <laughs> detainees were kept here. So what happened inside, well, that, I, was not a, I was not a witness, a witness no. to what happened the, inside. The, the but I know this was a major house. detention center. Right. That, 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 anyone who might have had, would have it's had fear run in your, in your spine. Yeah, yeah is there testimonies? Which, uh, but, but, and, and this is also a detention? Uh, no, this is an office. Oh, this is an office. This is an office for the cleaners then. This, this building was like this when we came. You see? This is oh, what wow. we found here. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is the building. This is what we found here. That's this one. Two years ago? Yes, two years ago. This, right, right. Two years ago, this is what we found here. That's amazing. So this, this is the old building that has been rehabilitated to this. Right, right. It's not a new one. The old one has not been collapsed for sale. Yeah. It's just moved in to, 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 to reutilize the space that existed and reconfigure the building. Yeah. Yeah. And this used to house uh, the director generals then and the directors then. Mm. So this is the old invest, invest building. That's this one. Yes. That's the way it, it looked like until it was rehabilitated. And as you can see, the two windows are here. That's this one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the two windows in the back oh, yeah. that existed in the two rooms. And then that's the entrance. Yeah. And this is where the other cells were housed because it used to house the investigation, investigation team. This is the way it has been. It's only the platter that has been. Right. Yes. So, <coughs> This office has remained. This was the officer in charge of investigation. This one would stay here. So this was the investigation department. I see. The investigation unit. Mm -hmm. This is intact. The building, the structure, the corridors are intact. 
This is the shell. shell. These are two shells. These are two shells. I can see this. And this have in here for the longest. You can remember. So this is cell one. These are two cells in one in one group. Okay. Okay. Why do you suppose this could be? Do you have any idea? No, really, I, I wouldn't know why this happened. But I, do you mean the two holes? One, two, three. Uh, the way they are, they are put. No, yeah, it's uh, not. It, 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 it did not look like it roasted and uh, falling. I hope this when this all this get preserved. Pre -preserved this enough. is preserved. Yeah, this is preserved this should, and will this never, should never be touched. Or. Never will it be touched. That's why we've we've we've, we've preserved it. Right. With the Above this hall, is there a concrete? Yeah, yeah there's a concrete wall going on at the moment. Before it was a roof. As you can see, it was just a roof. It was just a roof. Now it's concrete, so that you can go up. Like it's been completed so that another building can be put on top of it. Yes, yes. Now the roof, this roof is gone. Yes. And we've, we've put a concrete on top. Okay. You know why I'm asking these questions? They've been told at moments guns will be shot. Ah. <laughs> so. In, in the cell? Well, anywhere, yes, in the cells. So that's why when I say this, I will relate that maybe. Some of those gunshots w would have been responsible of. I wouldn't know. Uh, uh, that's why I'm I've, 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 I wouldn't know. Yeah, okay. that. Around here no, since we took over, as yeah. I said, no more exercise, no arrest, no detention. No arrest. No arrest, no detention. Since February 2017 today. Okay. No arrest, no detention. Okay. 
Okay, let's move on now. Uh, just looking yeah. right, right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but not in our time. Not in your no, time. No, 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 it's evident that it's really good. This, this one, this one is newer. After the this. Yeah. Yeah. this cell has been existing since around 1995, or thereabout. So it's an old, right. it's an old cell. <laughs> Can we, can we move now, please? Yeah. So, Mr. So, yes, what I wanted to ask is, uh, if these people actually, and some are not some are not in the room, in the they are not going to see this open less than until there is a little bit of cold and now I just saw one, two, three, four holes. And even the other one, you saw the other one in the Bambadinka. The gate had only two two openings and the and the wall. There was no window. Certainly there was no window. So this, this, this is the space, and that's, that, that, that's the cell. So these were offices used by the yeah. by, by, by officers. Okay. Yes, sir. So this was the this was the, this was a store. This was a store. So the, 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 the documents are kept, and every item that was in here. It's there. It's, 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 it's. Record it. We have an archive. Well, it used to be the sort of archive. We didn't have something, the service didn't have something. Filed some uh, well, we have, cases here and there. Well, maybe some of them were here and, and some of them were in the diaries. Where are Which, they now? The diaries were requested and we've provided them okay. to the commission. Them, right, that's yes. good then. The entrance was right here. You come in, you enter it from here. All right, right. This was, the, this was the entrance, and there was a reception, uh -huh. a reception here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you could go through into the other other part of the of, of the building. You could go this way to, to, to the to the stairs. This particular stairs he is talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will see them. Yeah. The ongoing walk. These are toilets. So that okay. is okay. So these are the these are the, these are the staircase. Yes, these are the staircase. Ah. We will see. Then. Huh. It's the one can we see the before? This is where the paint and the yeah, this where the 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 this where what looks like. Not the wait 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 wait. Wait this. Yeah, this yeah. is the one. So this is the one. Go in. Come in now. And so which one is it? Lead it, 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 it leads to an office. And of, the office was also at times used as investigation. 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 When, when, when the, 
uh, movements were done. What do you mean by investigation or interrogation room? Well, I would, I would, I, I, I think the panels would sit there and investigate and, and, and call in witnesses. And, and uh, where is the hall? There's a hall where large groups used to be received. That's where I went. Mean, that's where we go. Okay. That's 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 the stories that yes, we have sir. heard about that particular place mm -hmm. is consistent with, with this, this, yes, that's with the whole, this, with this the picture that's that I'm seeing mean. here. This is the stairs that existed. This is what this, one, this is the existing stairs. And, and before stairs. you started repairing, this was the stairs. These were the stairs. We and took photos of leading to the to, 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 to the room. Uh -huh. if, there are any, uh -huh. if there are any stairs, really there are only two stairs here that lead into a building. Yeah. The other stair exists in the other in the other end. It's mm -hmm. easy. We can just count the steps. Really. One, two, three, four, five, and there's a landing. Mm -hmm. But this has changed. It might have been quite confused because this is now. No, no, I think, I think this is different. I think this is different. This is different. This is because not the place. If you count the steps, because the steps can have only one particular dimension. This is a 16. If you count, if you, if, no, what I mean is, the size is a, is a 16 or 17. The normal step would be a 15 or 16. Mm -hmm. So if you count this, mm -hmm. here what you have is one, two, three, four, five, and then you have a landing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's supposed to be that one. Is it? Well, and there this is, one is nine and a landing. This, this is, nine. is nine and a landing. And then a landing. Mm -hmm. so, so this place is shorter than well, this. Than, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 I would... Okay, let me check the other I, I, I side. The other side, Just, just yeah, allow me. Let him, let him go for it. Okay. Do you call that? No, probably. Yeah. 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 Because the structure, the structural configuration of this stair would not change. So, so, so all you do is you just tile over it. We wouldn't be uh, actually technically. I may not. I may not uh, know how uh, the configuration. Yes. Was done, no. 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 This, this can probably be correct. Hold a second. Hold a second. Standing there. That's there. Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four. Then you have a landing. Standing there. One, two, three, four. Mm. And then you have the landing. Mm. Then it turns. Then so then it turns. The photograph will not have the last two, three steps. Mm. Five. five. Yes, right. then the, this is the person who this is the photograph must have stood here. No, 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 the no. person stood here. You think so? Yes. The person stood here. Yes. Okay. So he's able to capture there yes. and here. But, but, but not the last. But not last get the last step. Oh, yes. Okay. Not the last. Not, not the last. Step. That's why it is like this. You can see. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Council. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> This is This room has been here. This this room has been here. Here, essentially, it has been changed. Okay. Where's the hall? That's the hall. That's where the panel used to sit. So this has not changed also in the mid size and other. It's here. This is the way it looked. We have a photo of how it looked before. Not not too much. It used to be a house here. Uh, that was a joint security panel. panel. And that changes in personality yeah. and others over time. And for 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 and that is the that's where we are now. Taken out. That's where we are now. So this used to be a toilet. This one. Yes. Yeah. So and so you see, still the concern we have. Still there is no red paint anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, well. This I, I 
Well, I, I guess these are red tiles. Yeah, but tiles don't really... Yeah, they leave, leave sticks. Exactly. Well, we need to, we need to... Boja. Yeah. Nyingfengko, probably we'll call in the contractor also to shed more light on, on this. The other thing you can check also is um, uh, the photo. The, when the photo... Yeah, Sorry, sorry hold, on, hold on a second. Let's yeah. take the due process. When um, uh, the photo was taken, mm -hmm. if you have um, a film, mm -hmm. it would show the date. Okay. Um, uh, uh, and the, when the photo was okay. taken, so that should help us. If it is done by the right type of camera, now it right. is, everybody goes digital. But uh, cell phone. But the source of this, we will we'll provide. Yeah, we'll 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 provide. We'll provide. We'll yeah. provide. We'll go in the photo lab because this is produced by us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 exactly. the shots are yeah. taken and produced by us, just okay. to preserve what we thought needed to be preserved. So is this paint? Is it something else? We need to we need to we need to establish sure. that. Sure. Certain. Okay. So okay. Just, just okay. See, uh, the, the, uh, all that may not be necessary. Uh, the most important thing is whether there is evidence of the fact that the NIA premises what was at certain periods used to torture people. And I don't think that uh, that is an indisputable fact. It's not. Yes, it is a fact that has been established by several witnesses. And I would imagine that even NIA staff would come out and confirm that fact. Because that's the most important thing. If that fact is established beyond doubt, any further evidence or additional evidence would not change the conclusion, being that it's the being used to torture people. That's the departure plan. Yes. The others are just to exactly. support the exactly. assassin. Exactly. And you cannot have greater support than those who were involved in the process and those who were victims of the process, both sides coming out to say, yes, that was true. And we, still here. Yes, and we hope that your institution would help in providing yeah, we that. Will, we will. Amen. I have one have a question to ask. Please. When you took over, did you find any room that resembled a torture chamber, like where there were blood stains? Blood was stains? there any hall here? Any hall? Any hall in this premises that resembled a or torture cell. chamber? Or a cell with, blood, with a blood cell. We, we had a room that we we, we 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 are not comfortable with what we found. But, but that is a matter of supreme interest yes. for us. Okay. I can't so we, 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 will, we, we, we went in. Again, when we were doing that at that time, mm -hmm. really the favor for me was no more exorcism. And we don't want any hallmark of anything that resembles in human right, human right violations. And so what, what we found there, we preserved. Can we take a look? Yes, yes, we'll uh -huh. take a look. We'll take a look. Thank you. That's good. But the room itself has not been preserved in its nature. Yes, ma'am. So they told us that um, there is a room where there is electricity and they used to suck them with that electricity with their face, their mouth, their nose and their private parts. So I want us to know where that room was. I think it will help us because some of these rooms, we are not, personally I was not probably here when that happened. Mm -hmm. But we are available to open all our doors, as I said. Yeah. If the witnesses can come and say, I was taken there, this will we'll show you everything we have in this service. Everything we have. I, for one, was investigated in this room. So I can, I can confirm that it was a room where a panel sat. And uh, it was also a room where torture occurred. Well, I, I wouldn't. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe the witnesses would say. What I, what I went through here was an investigation panel. But did you work for the NIA itself? Yes, I did. I did. For I how long? For the NIA. For how long? For almost now 24 years minus in between four years into 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 government other offices ministry of interiors permanent secretary foreign affairs permanent secretary ministry of climate change permanent secretary fisheries i did also work in the bank uh, fib and i did manage an educational institute so 95 to date so it's about 24 years minus 2009 december to 2013 March. 
I will not put you on the spot, but the question is obvious. During those 24 years, have you ever witnessed torture in this institution? I have never. That would be strange, wouldn't it? I have never, because it depends on where I am. I, 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 I worked as an analyst, and my, my, my job was to stay in the office and report, receive the report, and, 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 and analyze and provide reports. So I've never been part of operations or investigations, per se. I, I appreciate that. Of course, analysts, they crunch the numbers and try to connect the dots and so forth, uh, and draw conclusions and so forth. But the question was more about knowing about torture having taken place in this institution and not whether you have participated in them. So the question is whether during those 24 years you had knowledge that this place had at some stages been used to torture people. Well, did I, did I, did I, did, did I hear about it? Did you have knowledge? Knowledge can come through yeah. different forms. You can hear about it, you can see it. Well, I've heard about it, but I've not seen it. I mean, I've never been where I've seen torture taking place. Or I've never also participated, if it had happened, uh, in, a torture, in a torture team. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. you've had your, um, uh, your, your testimony now before the finish. <laughs> <laughs> That's there. Shall we move yes, on? Yeah, sorry. What was your position then before, when you were here? Well, I, as I said, I started as an analyst. Uh, then I was I served in that capacity for almost 20 or 20, 19, 90, almost eight years. Eight years. Then uh, I headed the investigation unit for eight more, about eight months. Then I went to Liberia as part of the United Nations. I stayed there for two years. I came back, I was director of external security uh, from 2006 to 2009. And I was deployed to the office of the president as a deputy permanent secretary. I, that was around September 2009 until December. Then I got my sacking from there. And a day after I was arrested, uh, brought here detained for, 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 for two weeks and then uh, I was left on bail. So I stayed on bail from January 2009 up to around May when I was told to stay away if I'm needed I would report. And uh, so in between I picked a job as a general manager for an international college at Dosima Resources. I stayed there then moved into banking. I did debt recovery and for FIB, I came in as a consultant and then stayed on for, for, for almost one and a half years. Then I went into Axone to do governance. They are governance and partnership program. So I was there for about eight months when I was recalled. The government as permanent secretary at the Ministry of Interior. I stayed there for a couple of months. I went to pursue my second master's. Uh, in diplomacy. When I came back, I was posted at Foreign Affairs as a permanent secretary too. And then from there, I went into the Environment and Climate Change Ministry as permanent secretary. And it was there where I stayed until, until uh, I was recalled to come and head this service. Thank you very much. So during the time that you were here, yeah. we are you kept in the cell or well, are you? I was kept at the, at the gate there. Okay. At the gate, but on the light detention, and I was not yeah. tortured. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yes. So, um, one question. Yes. You said you were one time director of investigation. Head of, head of the investigation. Head of in the investigations. Yes. And uh, what we were talking, what we are talking about, or where we are trying to dig in, has close relationship with investigation. That's why I want to ask. Um, you said you have never involved in invest uh, in torture and you have not seen torture happening. What were your investigation strategies well, that you were involved in? Your process is really... Which, and which year? Let, let's this, have the plan. This is 2000 and 2003. 2003 to... I think around August. Yes, August 2003. To 2004. 
for April 2023 August to 2004 to 2004 mm. April yes okay okay <laughs> thank you we may have to bring you Then it always goes back to GPMB days. Yes, these are all GPMB, including this, including yeah, that one, yeah. including all those buildings. Yeah. The only Ah. Hello, these are our staff at work. I see. Hello. Yes. Hi, how are you? All, all, all offices have mm -hmm. been used. I see. That's good. Thank you. Yeah. Those are offices. These are offices. This is the way our offices look like. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. We have offices. So these are all offices ah. occupied by staff. This is for I get for training exercise. Okay. At the range. At the range, okay. Okay. We certainly would be interested in seeing uh, those those materials that made you feel a bit uncomfortable. Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. thank you. We will, we will, we will, we will provide. Yeah, preserve. Boya. Yes, sir. Didi Jile. Didi Jile. 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 Structure and the infrastructure of the service. Really, that's what we have in mind. Uh, we didn't see it as 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 as, as uh, affecting anything. We saw it as to remodernize and remodify and give a fitting environment to our workforce. Really, that's the mentality with which we we, we, we went into this mode of, of of trying to reform and restructure. In the light. Has it ever been brought to your attention that the transformation that you are about to embark upon may have an impact on evidence and may therefore affect future investigations? Uh, it didn't really, really, really strike me in that way. Uh, no, the, the question is, has it ever been brought to your attention uh, that this transformation you are about to embark upon would have an impact on future investigation? No, no, no. Just all lie. No, we, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't have such a. You know. So, hello. Good afternoon. Well done. Afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah. This particular yeah. That record, what record and the items. Sorry, sir. The records and the items yes, from that room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember. Ha, John. Ha, ha. Let me deal and put it after that. Put it after that. Operationally, yeah. we, 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 we were until last year really having all our prayers outside. So we thought professionally. It, it exposes us. So we did this mosque. Ah, so this is relatively new. Yeah, this is new. Ah. This was inaugurated by the president last March. I see. Uh, I mean, if you look at the picture, you'll see that. Because we, we, we thought we should also, as an intelligence service, have our operations to the extent possible, catered for from in-house. In
Well, I'm glad so, you mentioned that this is relatively new. Yes. Because I thought, um, I said, we're, we're, torturers, um, uh, we're torturing and then come and pray yeah, afterwards uh, or what? Again, again, what we have in mind, uh, 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 your, your Excellency, what we have in mind is also to change the mind. Because we think if God is in your heart and in your hands, you will watch what you do. Really. So this is very symbolic. Yes, Alhamdulillah, religion. But we are trying to instill religion and God in our offices. Well, so so that's, that's why we have this mosque. Mr. DG, there is a lot of atonement that you guys have to go. <laughs> Okay, I, mean, oh. I, I, think, no, I, I think we can go to the interest. Thank you. So this was the building where the minister stayed actually. I, uh, from the descriptions we have about when the ministers were Brought arrested. Yeah. Oh. That's the building where they, they, they how do we assess that? Ministers. Yeah. Oh? Ministers. Yeah, the former yeah. PPP yeah. ministers. When they are brought in here. On detention. <laughs> Dumbuya. Okay, can we see the room? Yes, yes, we're there. Yes, yes. You see the ministers where? Yes. Dumbuya. This used to be my office before we moved here. Yeah. This used to be the director of general police. Yeah, yeah. So that this very old building. It might have been touched in the process over the years. Please welcome, Mr. Chair. Sure. Yeah. We have some rooms. <laughs> so these are the rooms where the ministers were. I think, well, yeah, you, that's you from, 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 I wouldn't know. I wasn't here when they were here. But this is the building. This is the building. Probably the rooms might have been configured in the over the years, but this is the building where it happened. Where, where, where they were. Brought to, yes. Right. This to. room? This building, yes. This, yeah. this building. It's been said that there are video cameras here that recorded the ins and outs of what was happening at the NIA. Yes, there were videos. There were video cameras around uh, and they were terminating at the office of the DG. And uh, the recordings? They would normally record. Well, uh, the devices would normally come with a hard drive, and uh, uh, the I information I, would I, be I captured think, there. I think. I think. Uh, or sometimes you can put in discs. The, techni the technicians yeah. will tell us about that. Well, there are some video cameras located in in the premises. In the premises. Were well, these CCTV or recording as well? Well, I think. Might be here. Okay. This, this, uh, these screens were uh, located at the office of the previous DG. The technicians who was monitoring or controlling these uh, screens is presently arrested with the NIA-9. Presently, he is in custody. He is in custody presently. He is the one who could have shed light, more light, on the, the hard drive that you mentioned, and if there was any recording of this incident here. Did you have a facility that would transmit whatever was happening within the NIA premises to some other <coughs> office outside these premises? Outside the headquarters here? Yes. No, there was no other offices. So Jame could not have sat at his office and see what was happening here? I believe so. But the, the, the technician who was present in custody at mile two, arrested with the NIA 9, could further set light into this issue. So the answer is you don't know? We don't know. Because we are a new team, yeah. we don't know. Yeah, thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Do we? Yeah. Uh, move, move. Uh, same going in there. Office, former office chair, boy. Huh? Talk about it. Okay. It's a real matter. What's the first one? When I came over, I was sitting in this office. I see. Yes, this was where. And this was my office until right. when I moved in. Until you moved in. Yes. So this, this, this is where the CCTV is terminated. So the DG, the Director General, could sit here and see the, the, the movements within, within the, within the complex. Yeah. Yes. So this is six screens.
is right terminated. So this was okay. this was the thank you, thank you. director general's office. Thank you very much. Until we right. <laughs> we enter mm. the new building. Thank you. Thank you. Did, you, did you have the accompanying note or no? Okay. Is that all the things? Oh. Okay. Okay. This were some of the items that we are removed. Uh, these were hooks we found attached to the attached to the yeah. to the to the, to the, to the, in the room. So we uh, extract. You want input? to get them out and then yes. Yes. Could you close, but it's, uh, let it be taking them out. Uh, could, could you kindly show us the room? Yes, it would be interesting to see the height at which these things were nailed or affixed to the wall because mm. that would be interesting if if it is up there for one to stand uh -huh. or, or to hang mm. or to slightly lean back. lean back and not be able to sit comfortably uh -huh. we should be able to know uh -huh. all right okay, okay. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll, we'll so we'll show the room okay so so uh, we would take photographs please, of this please. you will keep them here and when we need them we would send a request okay yes and who can tell us what these were used for? You were here 20 something years. No, no, this what was not this was not in my time. By then I was I was a victim of I was I was dismissed. Just uh, at the point when you were dismissed. They were there. I don't know. And uh, when were you dismissed? I was dismissed twice. I was dismissed in two, in '06, mm -hmm. and then I was dismissed in uh, 2015. Okay. When this, did you find them here? This building is a new structure. When did you it's find apparently them? Apparently, not part of the old GPMB structures. Yes. It used to house the investigation department. Okay. At what? When was it built? Uh, maybe that of the technical can, can tell us. Maybe From your own recollection, do you? No, I cannot tell you exactly. Was it 10 years ago? No, no, I cannot tell you exactly. Two years ago? About. Boya, uh, when? Where was this building? Huh? Yankuba who? Yankuba who? Yankuba who? Yankuba who? Yankuba who? Yankuba who? Your predecessor. For how long did he serve? Immediately. Yes. I think he was DG from. Was it 14? Oh, 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 14 to 16. 20, uh, 2014. Only for two years. Yeah, I believe. The records are the records are given to them. The records are given to them. How many years? Six years. Oh, six years? No, no. No, Yankuba was never DG for six years. No, this building is six years old. The building, yeah. The building. The building. Maybe the director of technical has been the story. To be around three and a half years. Oh, three and a half years. The building. Yes. Yeah, the building, yeah. Okay, yeah, and these things years. you are taking from this building? From this building. And you never had them anywhere <laughs> apart from this building? No, they are removed from this building. They are removed from yeah, the no, building. No, no, removed no. From the here. question <laughs> is whether you had this type of material in any other building or any other room. No, we only Remember, we do have witness statements of and course, witness testimony. We know what you're talking about. These materials or these cuffs we are removed only from this building. There is yeah. no other building that have similar cuffs like this. And you know that we have a witness who describes something like this as existing in Joswang, yes. in a house where he was detained. We, we are talking about here. I say here. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. The question is whether you have anything like this in any of your premises. Yes, I I cannot, yes, yes, yes. I yes. Yes. The answer would be yes. 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 Something like this mm -hmm. exists in Joshua. Mm -hmm. Because when I when I took over, uh, I went on a quick tour of the complex and also our safe house. Which you know, a safe house is not supposed to be this. But I found this exactly. type of arrangement in one of the, the rooms in the one of the boys' quarters. I saw this, and we've said let it be locked and kept. 
we would want to visit that place yeah, another at, at another time. We would send you a request. We would send you a request. Since Allah, no problem. So, so we see the room and then... Yes, uh, so this is removed from... Thank you very much. Yes, could, yeah. could this be collected yeah. and, 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 and be preserved? Yes, yes. Uh, we, we will. Would, uh, we will. We will. Yes. The, the points at which they were affixed, are they still visible? I think they should be. Bojang. Okay. Directly. Okay. Yeah. These are ten. Ten, right? Kavri million in, kavri million in Bondi. Do you, do you know Millennium Bondi? Exactly. Bondi, how did they? Well, I think they were on the on the on the wall. Yeah, they are. I, I don't think they were hanging. They were on the wall. I, I, they were on the wall. On the Direct wall or on the floor? I have on a question. The, huh? the food, where that for the detainees, where was it coming from? How do you know? I mean, for for for, for four years, I from from 2009 mm. up to 2017, I wasn't here. Okay. So how much detainees are you? Are you mentioned? General, general, just because, well, uh, because they must have been fed. So this is this this was the last investigation building. So this used to house the investigation and department. Where, so see. when they moved from the old building, this was the new investigation building. Away from this, this? So here, here you do the investigation right now. No, now we don't do investigation. We've stopped investigation. Unless if it is files to verify information, to look at cases, to screen, we do. But we don't bring in people to say, <laughs> you know, X, Y, Z. Don't do police work. No. We do only intelligence collection. And where is the room where the things were obtained? Yes, yeah, it may interest you to know. Mm -hmm. This room was where the, the, the current NIA 9 investigation, most of it happened or some of it happened. Uh, the PP, the UDP, because the NIA 9 uh, prosecution team came here. Yeah, I see. Yes. And now it is our clinic. This is where we have our nurses and our doctor. Okay. So it's a, it's a clinic now instead. It's a chair. And uh, so this was these an medications that dispense them to whom? To us. You, you guys need a lot of medication. <laughs> Mr. Council. <laughs> Mr. Council. This used to be the investigation, new investigation complex. So this was a conference room, but it also multifunctioned as probably an investigation facility. Uh, because when the when the when the when the NIA nine team came, the prosecution team, uh, with the testimonies they received, this was where uh, some of the investigations uh, took place. Thank you very much. Shall we see the room yes. where the yes. rings were, and then, then we'll let him. Investigation team. Up to, up to, up to 27 days. Do they have any cells here? No cell. Okay. And uh, these, these hooks, hooks they are here. Where? On the walls. So yeah. what were the marks? What were the links to the Well, here, here. Yes. You can see the mark. I think that's another one. Yeah. Uh, it even broke. Yes. So take okay. this one. So that would be the height at which they would be affixed. Mm. Oh. Strange. Uh, look at, take the ventilation. That's all for ventilation purposes. So all you did for this place is just to repair. There, there I, I found a bed. A bed. An iron bed here. Yeah. Just wait. Wait. I found an iron bed. Really, I was maybe overwhelmed by what I did. I, 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 I was struck by finding a bed here with irons, with these hooks on the wall. And I was saying in, the, in, the, in, the, in my mind, in the new Gambia, this is not what we need. And, and why that? Well, because I think it was really relics of abuse and torture. Really, for me, Coming in as a as, as the new director general, with a view to to just reform and cut off all these excesses and bad things, 
I say, let this thing go off. Take this thing, preserve it. I don't want to see anything like this in the, in, in, in the headquarters. Uh, this where it is located, one can only stand or squat. One cannot sit comfortably. And uh, if one is, I wouldn't say chained, but hooked to this, for an extended period of time, it becomes torture. And how were they removed them? Uh, no, they, is, uh, uh, metal, I think they might have cut them. I think they might have cut them. They, they are cut because they, they, they are our remnants. You can see there are remnants. Yeah, yeah. There are remnants. Well, and if you look at the, the rings themselves the, as well, yeah, they are metal, It looks like they are the cut. Metal store that was used to cut the yes. thing as well. Well, thank you very much, Thomas. Uh, okay, so so we have this. We have the hooks. Can and we, we have we have the bed. We have the bed that was used here. Thank you. Okay. Th thank you. Thank you. Okay. To okay. it here. Okay. And let them come and use the mattress. So yes. no, that's this what we oh really? this is what I found. In the, in the new room. Oh. And I said this would go. Mm. I don't want to see something like this next to officers who are supposed to walk with a new dispensation in a democratic setting. As far as I'm concerned, I said this would go. This would be removed from that room and kept. So yeah. that's the bed. This was a bed that right. I said it should be taken away. The mattress is not part of it. No, I don't think so. Ah, okay. This is, this okay. Is so, uh, Mr. Council? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mr. Council? This was the bed. This was the bed. This was the bed in that room with the hooks around it. This that looks like an operation table. Right? Yeah. I know. And yeah. it was, I, this was what was in there. And I said it should be removed. Uh, with or without the mattress? No, no it, I, I, it. I, didn't, I didn't find a mattress. Was, was, was it repainted or it's maintained like this? I think it's maintained. I think it's maintained. It doesn't look new. Okay. I think it's maintained. Okay. Yeah. I think it's maintained. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, did the NIA operate a clinic? Yes, we did. Everything we do is supposed to be, to the extent possible, we should have the ability to do it as an intelligent target. We should have our doctors, we should have our lawyers, we should, and that's where we move into. For well, the transition that you're going through, you need a lot of medication well, to it, balance it, it, It's always been part of the service. We've always had a nurse and a doctor in the service from, 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 from day one. But only for the staff? Yes, for not the staff. For the, not no, for, for the detainees. staff. For, for the, the staff. detainees? No, for the detainees, they take them to the clinic, I think. Ah, okay. You know, if they need, they take them to the hospital. I just yes, want sir. to thank Mr. you Chair. very much indeed. Mr. Chair, uh, thank you. We are here. Uh, yeah. It's been a good tour for us. And as I said them at the beginning, this was uh, precisely what we needed to see uh, to help them uh, uh, establish a, a record of what really has happened. And to hear from you and the transition between NIA and SIS was very good as well. But thank you so much. Thanks, sir. We have taken a lot of your time. Thank you. And uh, we have taken advantage of being with you and uh, mixing, visiting around, and uh, questioning you as if you were before the uh, commission. You. We couldn't, since we are not going to invite you to come to the commission, we did it here. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, we, we appreciate it. <laughs> no, we appreciate uh, it very much. We, we want yeah. to thank you for the work, really. We know this is not about witch hunt. This is about getting it right for this country. Absolutely. This is never again. So that we have a country that is peaceful, that is secure, that is stable. You see, human rights violation doesn't help national security. It hinders national security. Wherever you have human rights violations, you, you, you go into the security de dilemma situation. In the pursuit of national security, you cause more insecurity. And if the shift in security paradigm is now onto human security, then people must be put at the center of our security activities. Absolutely. And we think the outcome of what you will do will also help us as a service and as a security sector in general to reform and reposition our services so that we can serve and have sustainable security arrangements, durable ones, not to just cater for a regime 
and after the regime you have to go back to the drawing board as we are now having. Yeah. So we see this ongoing TRRC as a very, very important epoch in the state formation of the Gambia. What we are going through is state formation. It's more than just the institution, it's the whole Gambia that by implication is going through these reforms. And for us as a service, we will support this soldier to soldier. Yeah. That's our commitment. Thank you very much. On Thank behalf you. of the commissioners and the rest of our team, we are very appreciative. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Please. Uh, Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Mr. Council. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. A big Thank pleasure you. meeting you. Thank 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 you. The one that is done, because we are waiting to inaugurate it in independence and move it. It's now, is it, can't we, or can we? No. Well, I... No, just wait, let's hear, let's hear your let's, view. Uh, my view we'll is that uh, the new building can proceed. That's the view I have. Um, well, it is already beyond retrieve uh, retrieve for our investigations except if we want to do some forensic analysis which i don't think we need to at the end of the day i think the NID, the sis itself would not dispute that NID, the nia premises was at certain times used for torture uh, if you and us can agree at that conclusion uh, i guess you can continue with your work thank you uh, of course, there is the issue of the staircase, which the evidence as it is seems to point to a conclusion different from the one that you have suggested. We would look into that. But that also would be rendered mute if there is the acceptance that this place been used for torture at some times. The question would therefore, be, the question for us would therefore become, who were the torturers? and who are the victims. That is a separate inquiry okay, we so can yeah, do. From yeah. Yeah. But what, what certainly I can say, maybe on conclusion, any, everything we've been doing here really was just to, to, to reform, from mentality to environment. Really, no more. No more, and we are not apologetic about that. No more excesses. And we didn't only do it physically, we wanted to also change the minds. I said, the mosque. People may ask why SIS mosque. If you have God in your heart, you'll wash your hands. There was one at the time of the NIA. Yeah. Well, but it was not a Friday prayer mosque. But it was, this a, is it a, was a mosque. It was a mosque nonetheless. Well, it was a mosque, but not a Kutbad mosque. With, with the new mentality. Yeah. With the new mentality. With the new mentality. Really. And again, we are saying this most importantly with God. With God, most of us also have gone through it. Never again. Yeah. Never thank again. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. You have our support. Inshallah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The last word that thank we will leave you with. You. So we'll we'll continue. Sure All right. And if uh, anything you need, please let us know. We will yeah. call. We'll yeah. provide. We will call. As, as I said, the last word that we would leave you with is making sure that the records are preserved. They are. Yeah. They will yeah. be. They That's will absolutely be. important. They will yeah. be. Um, uh, and if we need to come back and look at uh, things out there, we go we ahead will. and then do that. Thank and you. those are my staircase photos. If you can go back and check your own yes. records, yes, we'll, check. Uh, we'll get to we'll hear from check. you we'll a check. bit more we'll on check. that. We'll thank, you thank, you thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.